Hello everyone, myself Anand Sarma. I am a 5th year 9th semester law student at NEF Law College, Guwahati. Uh, this video is a part of the task which I have to perform uh, as an intern uh, under the uh, guidance of Jeevan Professor who is an advocate of record at the Supreme Court of India. Through this video, I would like to address one issue that is when can uh, legal notice for check dishonor or bounce be issued. Before discussing the issue, uh, first of all we need to discuss about the legal implications of check bounce in India. So, a check bounce, uh, it usually happens uh, due to several reasons like uh, insufficient balance, expired validity of check, uh, overwriting, torn check, order by the door, etc. So, uh, the provision of law which deals with the check bounds is section 138 of the Negotiable Instrument Act 1881 which deals with uh, check bounds cases and lays down punishment for anyone found guilty of check bounds. Dishonor of check as it is considered to take place when the drawer of the negotiable instrument draws a check without sufficient fund in the bank account maintained by him. It is considered as a criminal offence under section 138 of the Negotiable Instrument Act uh, with a punishment of up to 2 year or fine being double the amount of the dishonoured check or both. Now what is the procedure for filing complaint? So first and the foremost is send legal notice that is as per section 138 of the Negotiable Instrument Act, you must send a legal notice to the defaulter whose check has been dishonoured. A legal notice it has to be sent within 15 days from the receipt of the dishonored information to the defaulter and it has to be sent by the registered ad uh, post uh, number 2 legal notice details so what is what does it contain in the legal notice uh, we have to mention the cause of issue must be detailed here precisely and all the facts of the case including the nature of transaction amount of loan or any other legally enforceable debt for the satisfaction of which the check was issued date of depositing bank date of dishonor reason for dishonor and 15 days grace period is provided to the drawer the drawer who is the person in default is being given 15 days from the date he received the legal notice for discharging his liability uh, towards the debt owed to the pay uh, within 15 days of service of notice and 15 days grace period is provided to the drawer. The drawer, who is the person in default, is being given 15 days from the date he received the legal notice for discharging his liability uh, towards the debt owed to the pay uh, within 15 days of service of notice. So after the notice is served, two situation arises. Number one, when the debt is paid off within 15 days of service of notice, uh, that matter is done away that is law provide for second chance to the uh, drawer of the check to fully and properly pay the legally uh, legally enforceable debt or loan to the pay hence in this case if the payment is done by the defaulter the matter is done away but what if he didn't pay so the second option that is what if payment not made with those 15 days grace period the person who has been denied the rightful debt payment for the reason of the account not having sufficient fund etc can now lawfully file a complaint in the form of a criminal case in a court of lower jurisdiction. Now 30 days crucial time period uh, provided to the complainant to file the criminal case. It is to be mentioned that only after the expiry of 50 days grace period given to the drawer of the check to repay the debt and within next 30 days the complainant has to file the criminal case against the drawer.